Hello friends, today I am going to explain you a movie six day. According to Christianity, God created human beings in his image, and, behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning night were the sixth day. And the God created humans on the sixth day. Until the end of the 20th century, humans started cloning. It means they were able to clone an animal. But when this experiment was tested on human beings, it failed. People started protesting against these experiments. That's why the government implemented the Sixth Day Law, according to which cloning of human beings is illegal and banned. As time passed, cloning of human beings was banned. But until now, the cloning of animals is still going on. Example if someone's dog died, then the same dog can be newly created which will also have the same memory and feelings as the previous dead dog. In this movie, a person is shown whose name is Adam Gibson. While he was out at work, he received a video call from his wife. She tells him that their dog just died and she wants him to go to the repeat center where he can create a clone of their dog. Otherwise, their 8 year old daughter will be sad because she used to love that dog a lot. Adam was against cloning, so he denied his wife and says that she needs to accept the truth that everyone borns and dies someday it's nature's rule. The dead dog will remain in our memory and I also don't want any scientist create a dog to live with our daughter. But his wife forces him to do it no matter what. Adman is a charter pilot that's why today he is flying a charter with his friend Hank. They are about to transport one of the biggest businessmen named Michelle Ducker. He owns the cloning business. Before they go to Michelle, Michelle's people come there and they take Adam's and his friend Hank's blood tests and they also scan their retinas. They said that they do the same thing with everyone who travels with Michelle. After that Michael's people leave from there. Now Hank tells Adam that he should go to a repeat center to make a clone of his dog and I'll go with Michelle and birthday also your birthday. Adam agrees with him and so Hank goes to pick up Michelle where he introduces himself as Adam Gibson because Michelle especially wanted Adam. Hank takes Michelle to one of the snowy mountains where all of a sudden one man appears and shoots them with a gun. On the other side, Adam is sleeping in a taxi and the taxi driver says, we reached your destination. Here, he leaves the cab and enters inside repeat center where he is going to make a clone of his dog. But he goes into deep thought because he is against cloning. He sees a doll there, which his daughter requested him to bring home. He takes that doll and heads toward home. As soon as he reaches the gate of his house, he gets shocked to see his dog alive. He starts to think that his wife has already made a clone of their dog. He goes inside the gate and hears happy birthday. And he gets shocked again because he knows that it's his birthday today. But if he is outside, whose birthday are they celebrating inside? He peeks inside the home and sees that they are celebrating the birthday of a person who looks exactly like him. And all the people are thinking of him as Adam. There is also a doll inside the home his daughter wanted. Adam was about to go inside the house, but Wiley and Talia appeared at the same time. They tell him that they have broken the sixth day rule. They have created the human clone now he has to go with them. Still, Adam doesn't want to listen to them. He tries to get inside the house, but at the same time, Talia gives him an electric shock, making him unconscious now. They are dragging him towards their car. Still, all of a sudden Adam becomes conscious and tries to escape, but Talia comes inside the car and points a gun at him, but Adam snatches that gun from her hand and asks her why they want to kill him. Talia tells him, your clone got home before you did. He doesn't know anything about you, and from now on, he'll live with Adam's family forever. Talia's people were also following Adam's car. They shoot at Adam's car but accidentally, the bullet hits Talia and she dies, then, her friend Wiley gets in front of Adam's car, and he also dies there. Adam was able to escape from there, and now he goes directly to the police and tells them all the truth and the situation. But the police didn't believe him. The police lock him inside the room. Michael Ducker's security officer is now shown, whose name is Robert. X the scientist who clones people to clone Wiley and Talia because he needs them. Here the cloning of Wiley and Talia has begun. He brings out one chemical preserved body and starts giving it the same color, shape, and appearance as Talia. 
they also added her DNA, memory, and feelings to her clone. Adam is still in the police station. He sees the same man who tried to kill him before. Somehow, he manages to escape from the police station but as soon as he leaves the police station, he runs into Wiley. Wiley tries to kill Adam, but Adam kills him first, and he escapes from there. He goes to his friend Hank. He tells him everything about what's happened to him, but Hank refuses to believe him. That's why Adam takes Hank to his house and shows him his clone after seeing that, Hank gets shocked, and they both head back to Hank's home. Just when they are talking, a person appears and kills Hank instantly. This is the same person who shot the gun when Hank took Michael on that snowy mountain. This man now tries to run away after killing Hank, but unfortunately, he gets into an accident. Adam runs towards him and asks him why did he kill his friend. He tells him that his friend Hank was dead already before. He was with Michael Ducker, so he had no choice but to kill him. And the person who he killed just now was Hank's clone. He also tells him that Michael created the clone of himself, Hank, and Adam. Hank's killer asks Adam to shoot in his head because he has friends who work at Michael's lab, and if they read his mind, then Michael's people will kill his friends. He grabs Adam's hand and kills himself by shooting in his head. When Tolly and Robert reach the spot, Adam shoots them, by which Robert's leg and Tolly's fingers get cut off. After that, Adam grabs Talia's thumb finger and uses it to start Talia's car and escapes from there. Adam goes to Michael's company, where Talia used to work. He again uses Talia's finger to enter the building. Here he meets the doctor who makes clones. He is also the same doctor who created Adam's clone. Adam asks him how did he do that? The doctor tells him that when their people were scanning his retina, it was actually to record his mind's information and that the blood test was for collecting his DNA. This is how they were able to create his clone. Adam asks him why they made his clone when he was still alive. The doctor shows him the video clip from B can bring out the truth about Michael and all of his plans. At the same time, Michael's people get to know that Adam is in the same building. They start looking for Adam but Adam leaves the facility before they reach him. When Adam is with Yor, Michael kidnaps his wife and daughter. Now Adam goes home to meet his clone. The clone was also worried about his family, so he was about to call the police. Adam tells him, you're my clone, and now we have to save our family. Adam then calls Michael and says he'll give his CD back tonight at 10 p.m. The doctor re to Michael Ducker to can work for him anymore. I'll kill you, and I'll create a clone of you and your wife, and you won't even remember this conversation, and your wife will also not remember that she gave any promise to you after that Michael kills the doctor. Here Adam lends his helicopter to Michael's building and tells Michelle's security that he asked for a helicopter. But when the guard says that to Michael, he says that he never asked for anything like that. He must be Adam. They start looking for Adam on security cameras. Adam starts destroying the security cameras. The security somehow manages to catch Adam now. Adam is in front of Michael Ducker. Security tells him that they didn't find any CD with Adam. Adam tells them that he gave the CD to his clone, and if they don't leave him and his family, the clone will take the CD to court, and all of them will be in prison for breaking the six-day rule. Michael replies to him, saying that the person carrying the CD isn't his clone. He is real Adam, and you're the clone. Adam doesn't believe him. Michael asks Talia to tell Adam how many times her clone has been created. Talia says, I forgot the count. Michael again asks Talia to show his eyes to Adam. Talia shows her lower eyelids where there are four dots. Those dots indicate the number of times her clone has been created. And when Adam looked at his eyelids, he saw one dot there. Michael's security forcefully takes Adam to the machine that can record the memory of a person. They record his memory and start looking for the real Adam's location. Michael keeps on looking at the clone's memory and sees that they have been tricked. Real Adam came to that building with a clone in the same helicopter, but the clone intentionally hadn't looked at the real Adam. That's why he wasn't recorded in his memory. Michael orders his security to look for Adam in that building. This clone got caught intentionally so that the real Adam can find his family. 
real Adam starts to search for his family and attaches the bomb to the oxygen cylinder. After that, he turns off all of the lights. He also finds his wife and daughter. He carries them in a helicopter and leaves them in a safe place. After that, he goes back to save his clone. There in the building, the clone attacks Michael. Michael's security tries to shoot Adam, but the bullet hits Michael. Michael gets wounded. He asked his security to record his memory. He wanted them to make his clone ASAP because he was dying. Adam's clone hides inside the tank where so many bodies have been kept to make clones. Talia gets to know that he is hiding inside the tank. She tries to shoot him, and she breaks the outer glass of the tank, and all of the chemicals inside the tank start coming out. After that, Adam kills Talia. Here, Michael has already started transferring his memory into the clone. After a few minutes, the clone gets conscious and gets up, even without being fully developed, and starts to take off Michael's clothes who is about to die. Now Adam's clone enters the room. At first, he destroys the lab, and then, after leaving Michael and his clone there, he goes to the place where the bomb was planted. He lights the bomb and goes on the roof of the building where the real Adam comes in a helicopter to save him. Before he reaches for the helicopter, Michael shoots at his leg. To carry the clone inside, Adam comes out of the helicopter. Now Michael is standing in front of them. The helicopter that real Adam used to go there can be controlled with a remote. The remote is attached to Adam's hand. Using that, Adam moves the helicopter toward Michael, and in that situation, Michael jumps from the building to save his life from the helicopter. But unfortunately, he lands on the glass floor and the glass shatters instantly after Michael lands on it. Michael falls to the ground next to that building and dies. Both the Adam knows that there will be a huge explosion. That's why they hang on the helicopter and leave the place. An explosion occurs, which takes down the whole building. In the end, Adam and his clone are together. Adam made a full arrangement to take his clones far away from there so that no one would know about him. Also Adam's clone doesn't have any infection, which means he'll live a longer life. Adam's clone thanks Adam, saying, You gave me one last chance to meet your family. After that, the clone goes to meet his family, and he feels so happy there, but as he agreed with Adam, he leaves that place forever and goes on a new journey. With this, the story ends. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you liked the story. Like our video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing stories like this.